Hey everyone! Today I'm going to show you 15 things players forgot about in Bloxburg, so let's get right into it! The first thing players forgot about is the pizza delivery job. Ever since we got the Bloxburger update, most people prefer to work there instead of pizza delivery, even though it used to be the most popular job. People completely forgot about pizza delivery, almost no one works there anymore. However, I find this interesting since pizza delivery pays about the same as Bloxburger at work level 100. For me, I actually make more from pizza delivery than I do at Bloxburger. Although most people aren't work level 100, and Bloxburger is much more fun than pizza delivery, so it makes sense why pizza delivery is forgotten about. The second forgotten thing is donation limits. Whenever players donate to someone, it's so easy to forget about the strict donation limits we have. Then it's super irritating when you can barely donate any money to people and then you have to wait a day to donate any more. Donation limits are very bothersome to players, especially for those without premium who can only donate 10k a day. We all seem to forget there's even a donation limit until that annoying message pops up and stops us from donating. The third forgotten thing is Boomer's Fireworks. Boomer's Fireworks only shows up twice a year during the summer update and the new year's update. So most players forget about its existence entirely, including the fact that Boomer, the man who is usually just standing there, actually disappeared. No one knows why he disappeared or where he went, but we might have an update about this in the future, and no one will expect it because he's been completely forgotten about. The next forgotten thing is Tom. When you first join the game, Tom, who is on the game's icon, stands by your house and tells you how to play the game, and then he stays there for 24 hours after the time you join. After you talk to him, he stands there looking towards your house, kind of creepily. Most players forget about Tom since he disappears so quickly, and then you can literally never interact with his character again. The next forgotten thing is the starter pack. For the first 24 hours after joining Bloxburg, there is the option to buy the starter pack for 400 Robux. The starter pack offers the Rote 500 car, 10,000 blocks for cash, and 250 block bucks. Most people don't buy this because new players typically don't want to spend a lot of money on a game that they don't know well yet, but it can be a good deal for some people. The next forgotten thing are the pre-built houses. Aside from the starter house, people barely ever use pre-built houses unless it's for a renovation. Blacksburg actually has six pre-built houses, which are all shown on the screen. Peaceful living, classic family home, and simple suburban are the most forgotten. I didn't even know simple suburban existed for years. I remember seeing it on someone's plot, and I genuinely thought they built it themselves. The pre-built houses are all really outdated, which explains why everyone forgets about them. Next is the parking garage. We've had the parking garage for years, but it's basically pointless. There are so many spots in the garage, but Bloxburg servers can only hold up to 12 people, so there's no reason to have such a big garage. I also have never seen anybody park here, so most people don't use it at all. Next is the furniture store. This is probably the most useless building on the entire map since it has such a limited selection of furniture and only super old furniture too. You can also buy all of the furniture on sale, much more easier in build mode. There's also no job at the furniture store and literally nothing to do there, so most players forget about it and never use the furniture store except for when they're new. Next is the second gas station. We all know about the gas station by the beach, but there's also another one on the highway. This gas station actually has a store inside where you can buy food, sort of like at the supermarket. However, you can also buy drinks from the store worker and hot dogs. The gas pumps even work, and you can interact with them at both gas stations. The second gas station is almost never used despite being able to buy things inside it since it's so far away from everything on the map, some people don't even know it exists. Next is the aesthetic house trend. Back in 2019 and 2020, quote unquote aesthetic houses were popular with lots of linen and pastel colors, over decoration, and plants. This house is a perfect example of this house style. As years passed, these houses slowly became less popular, and some people even started to hate them. Realistic houses replaced this style and became even more popular, leaving these houses to be forgotten. Next is taking out the trash. Bloxburg has a lot of small interactive features that aren't often used, such as the ability to take out the trash, wash the dishes, etc. If you don't roleplay, you've likely forgotten about these abilities since they're otherwise never used, but it is really cool to have this in the game since it makes it much more realistic 
and role plays are more fun. Next is Blacksburg Casting Robux. Blacksburg costs 25 Robux, as most of us know, and it's a one time purchase, so once you buy it, you can always play it on your account unless you get banned. After you buy it, it's easy to forget it even costs Robux since you never think about it again and 25 Robux is a pretty small amount. The only time people remember they spent Robux on this game is when people say it should be free. Most players are against Bloxburg being free, but it doesn't seem like the game will be made free anytime soon. Next is the giant seashell trophy. This is a special and rare trophy you can obtain by going to this corner in the ocean and waiting for the trophy to appear. It appears most often at night, and you might have to wait for a bit of time. Most players don't have this trophy, and those who do have it can only get it once, I believe. However, it is a really nice decoration, and a very rare and cool trophy to have. The second to last forgotten thing is the Marvelous Mood Game Pass. This is the second cheapest game pass in Bloxburg, and allows you to control whether or not your moods show when they are low. Once you buy this game pass, it's usually forgotten once you set your negative mood effects to not show since you don't like actively use the game pass. It is a very useful game pass, but in my opinion, it just isn't as good as the others. Finally, the last forgotten thing are secret doors and rooms. We have a few secret doors in Bloxburg, but since they aren't used often, they're typically forgotten about. There's a lot of cool ideas for secret rooms, and since people forget these doors exist, it is a perfect addition to your house. I made this really cozy secret room in my house, and you would never know that this is here. Anyway, that is going to be all for this video. Feel free to subscribe for more Bloxburg content, and comment if I missed anything. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.